And then there were six, six glittering gaming palaces in the tri-state with the opening tonight of the Velterra Park Racino. Now, this new gaming facility opened on the site of what was once known as River Downs. And that means new competition for your gambling dollar. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke to gamblers tonight about what sets this one apart from the competition. Jason? Well, you said it. Everyone we talked to tonight knows it as the old River Downs. But tonight, Belterra Park opened up in a market that is very quickly becoming saturated with places to gamble. The doors opened a little earlier than scheduled, just before 7 p.m., and they were off. Gamblers getting their first look at the new Belterra Park. It's more up class, bigger. you know, bigger. Got a lot of restaurants in here. This is nice. I mean, this is nice. We built a grand place here. Kurt Gore works for Yates Construction, the contracting company that oversaw the $300 million project. This is the first casino I've done for this uh, company I work for. And, well, I'm amazed at what came together, to tell you the truth. It's absolutely beautiful in there. Barry Howard says it's not the slots or the restaurants that draw him in. But I'm a horseman. I, I'm not a casino man. I like the new track, the new screens. It's great. Dwight Williams agrees. It's the horses that will set Belterra Park apart from the competition. I mean, you know, it's what it is around here. I mean, it's like history. It's part of Cincinnati. The live horse racing doesn't actually start till May 8th, and as always, the horses run through October. We're live tonight in Anderson Township. Jason Law, not on your side.